Well, I think that's a myth. There, I, I think there's a myth out there that if you are a hyperactive or ADHD kid, uh, Ritalin or Ritalin-like medications are going to work on you differently than they will on the normal population. And that's what it is. It's a myth. It's inaccurate. So for all of us, um, whenever we would take one of these medicines, your dopamine and uh, norepinephrine are going to be more readily available in your brain. You will be more focused. You will be more attentive. You also might be a little more uptight and a little more hypervigilant. And when you take any medicine, there's a cost-benefit ratio. Any time you take a medicine, there's a potential side effect. So if you don't have ADHD and you're going to take this medicine, uh, any psychostimulant, any type of drug like this, is going to increase your heart rate, it may elevate your blood pressure, uh, it will decrease your appetite. Um, those things are side effects that are unnecessary if your dopamine and norepinephrine levels are normal. Um, in the same way that if you take too many aspirin, it will thin your platelets, which might be good but might be bad, and if you take too much aspirin, you can actually get an ulcer. So um, this is something that every time you get prescribed a medicine, a doctor is thinking about what the cost-benefit ratio is. The important part for us to remember is that when someone with ADHD gets these medicines, they get closer to what a normal, typical brain response is, so that they look less hyperactive, they look more attentive, therefore they're less impulsive, they are able to do what they're capable of doing. It doesn't increase your IQ points. It doesn't make you smarter. It lets you get to the IQ points that you do have. And therefore, while you're never as attentive as a typical or normal individual, and you never stop moving around uh, and stay as still as a typical normal, you are more in the normal range that permits you to be more contemplative, insightful, and therefore get in touch with and use your intelligence. Well, I think th there are other side effects. So for instance, particularly if you take um, dexedrine, which is uh, a more potent version of Ritalin, slightly different, different chemical structure, there is no doubt that you will also get a slight rise in your mood. You will feel somewhat more euphoric, and you will feel more expansive. And therefore, if you start taking that medicine on a regular basis, uh, when you don't have it, you very possibly will feel a crash or you will feel down. Um, and therefore, that's the potential side effect um, that could be quite serious that you become used to it or become uh, almost addicted to the sensation of feeling good um, when it's not necessary to cause you to focus or you don't need it for uh, extended attention. Mm -hmm.